It's November 2024. Do you like downtown San Luis Obispo? Do you like free movies? Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to our November 2024 San Luis Obispo County real estate market update. Well, I love this time of year. I mean, gosh, it's Thanksgiving time. We have so much to be grateful and thankful for. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching these videos, uh, all your great feedback to our great customers in our community. Again, thank you. Um, as part of that, this time of year, as we have so much fun, we've been doing it for decades, we have our annual movie event. So there is a link down below where you can reserve your spot for our annual movie event at the historic, iconic Fremont Theater downtown San Luis Obispo. It's gonna be November 23rd, the Saturday at 10 a.m. before Thanksgiving. So we're excited to see you. Everybody's welcome. We just ask that you please maybe just reserve your spot so we can plan accordingly. All right, so thank you. So let's jump into the, the market updates. So we've got to talk about our market statistics, what's happening there. We're going to talk about the election that's just transpired by the time you see this most likely. And at the end of the, this conversation, we're going to talk about in, the impact of interest rates. So our inventory, well, first of all, banner month here in the month of October that just finished. Inventory is up about 30%, which is healthy for the market, down a little bit since October. Our pendings and closed sales both up about 25 or 26%. That's a very, very strong month. And our new listings are down, okay? In fact, they're about down about 30% month over month. And, uh, uh, yeah, and um, so, so there's a significant drop in the new listings that came on the marketplace. So you can tell it's a very active market, probably due to the interest rates, which had been lower, okay? And we'll talk to you a little bit about that in a minute. And again, still seeing on good price properties, multiple offers and a lot of demand. All right, so that's our market update and stats. The election, all right. So we see it every year, every four years when we have elections, um, that the activity as we get closer and closer to the election in the marketplace slows down, common sense. Um, and then people are, do so because of the unknown of what might happen. So whether your candidate wins or doesn't, here's what I do know. The day after all these elections, we get up, if we have children, we get them ready for school, we feed them breakfast, we take them to school, we go to our jobs, we come home, we see our family, we spend the evening, have dinner, those sorts of things. Life goes on and we have a certain amount of normalcy, which means people get back to doing things that they would normally want to do. I think there's a lot of pent up demand once things get settled down and people know what's going on, that they're going to be jumping back in the real estate market. But even more importantly, interest rates, my third topic, are what really drives this market. All those great market stats came over a difference of about 1%. And who would have thought after that September 7th big announcement, half a percent cut in the federal funds rate, that mortgage rates about a month later were gonna be 1% higher? Would have been me, all right? So no one knew that was coming. Now, it just also lets me know that when you get an opportunity like that, when mortgage rates are lower, it's an opportunity that can come and can go, take advantage of it. So everything we see and read, however, points to the fact that rates for mortgages, not just interest rates, mortgage rates, should be dropping. We should see them in the low sixes by the end of the year, what we see, and there's a good chance they'll be in the fives next year. Okay, so if a 1% drop from seven, seven and a half to six low sixes like we saw a month or a month or two ago made a difference, imagine what 5% will do. I think that will be rocket fuel for our local market. So keep an eye on these things. They're very dynamic. We know we're gonna get through and have a great market next year. So if you have any questions, give us a call us. And please, if you have the time and can make it, we'd love to see you at our movie, November 23rd. Thank you and have a great day.